puede rápido. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here. Very happy to have the opportunity to share with you once again. Well, let me see. I am going to connect everything. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Is it raining near your houses? Yeah, it's raining. Yeah. It's Good evening. Is it raining at the beach? Anayansi? Hello? <laughs> Is it raining at the beach? Uh, now, not. Okay. Yeah, because here, here in San Salvador, it's raining right now. Yeah, not that much, but it's raining. Well, uh, today we are going to be working on basically to finish uh, everything on the platform because tomorrow we have presentations only, right? We have oral evaluations. And today we are going to make sure that you complete everything, everything, everything on your platform, right? So we don't have any problem uh, to ask for your certificate or anything. So make sure that you have your platform ready. Si les falta algo que terminar de la plataforma, pues ábrala, la vamos a trabajar todos juntos. Vamos a hacer ahí todos good sus evening. ejercicios. Hello, good evening. Just to start today, we are going to, uh, to go over the platform and then we are going to finish working on the things that we are missing. Okay, so welcome everybody. Welcome Anayansi, Julio, Catherine, Mr. Ismael, welcome Heidi, welcome Blanquita, Mr. Hi, Milton, evening. welcome. Thank you. Welcome to your class. Okay, Blanquita, we didn't see you. When, when was it? Yesterday? Yes, yesterday. I haven't, I can't connect. Sorry. I couldn't. Say, I, I couldn't connect. Sorry. Okay, but everything's fine. Yes, it's very fine. Thank okay, you. very My good. child have a homework and <laughs> it's, he needs help me, help. He, he needed help. Yes. He needed help, you say. Good. So today we are going to go over the different exercises that we have in the platform. If you haven't finished, this is the moment for you to go mm -hmm. and uh, finish actually the things that you are missing in the platform. Well, as you can see here, this was unit number, well, module, sorry, section five in the platform, right? It was about everything that we were studying about gerunds, about uh, the different jobs, the different personality traits, right? That we mm. were talking about yesterday. And for sure you had some evaluations, right? In this one, do you remember how you created these answers? With ING, we are going to make them all together, right? to see if we actually completed all the exercises. In this one, you say, I don't like by commute bus. Do you remember what was the sentence that you can create for this one? Because on the example you have, I enjoy with time spent friends my. So in this one, said, I enjoy spending time with my friends. You don't have to add more letters. You don't have to add more words but you have to transform the verb into ing and to organize the phrase. What is the phrase for the number one that we have here? What was this phrase? I don't like uh, commuting, commuting. I by don't like, bus. I don't like commuting. Commuting? Commuting. I don't like, like 
commuting by bus. Okay, by commuting. Bus. In this case, the word commuting, right? It means viajar de un lado a otro. I don't like commuting by bus. Good, very good. So the next one, it says, I am not very good at, and it says foreign languages, learn. Learning. Learning. Aha, but what is the complete sentence that you created here? I am not very good at learning foreign, no. Yes? For, le, foreign language. I am not very good at learning foreign, foreign languages. languages. Mm -hmm. Learning, right? Because this is the verb. In this one, what is the verb of sentence number three? I'm good at solving other people's problem. Yes, this was a very complicated phrase because it was misspelled by the platform. Okay, el error estaba en la plataforma, no en sus oraciones. Por eso muchos teníamos problemas para completarla. But uh, the complete sentence was, I am, I am good at solving other people's problems. Good. The so next, the teacher, can you repeat in, in, in my case? Please. Sorry. Uh huh. Solving. So, okay. Solving. What is the meaning? Uh, no, no. The 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 great solving so uh, change e, e for e for for yeah you. yeah. Remember that when I was when I was teaching you the the gerunds, some of them have a specific forms. In this case, you have solving. Okay, because it finishes in E. In most of the verbs that finish in E change for I when you transform them into gerunds, right? I am good. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm good at, at, at solving other people's problems. Yes, right? The problem was the spelling. I was, I was checking on this one because I sent you the answer because it was different, right? Here I have my answer. And it says, I am good at solving other people's problem, right? The, the thing here is that it was misspelled here. La plataforma tenía el error ahí y aquí. Pero mm -hmm. eh, igual yo les estaba corrigiendo cuando se los enviaba ahí en el chat. Por, por, decía, I am good yo, at okay. solving yes. other people's problem. Aquí era el problema porque nosotros le poníamos problems. Y no nos lo aceptaba. So, but okay. the correct thing is solving other people. people's problems. Y si no les daba el apóstrofe, mm -hmm. ¿se acuerdan cuando les comenté al principio? Lo ideal es que copien el apóstrofe de la plataforma y utilicen ese mismo. ¿Ok? Correcto. Por eso les digo que este día sí, si de repente les quedó esa incorrecta, mm -hmm. se pueden meter y corregirla para que toda su plataforma les quede al 100%. Okay. Si sí pueden entrar a corregir los, los, los errores, solo fíjense que no vayan a cometer el error en otra oración. So, I hate, the next one is, I hate working, uh, I hate working with a group or team, right? I hate working, ajá. Uh -huh. I, I have a question. Yes. I hate working with yes. team or a group or group. A team. With a group or team. With a group or team. With Be a group or, or team. team. But uh -huh. I, I, it's not correct to say with, with a team, team or group. Or a group. Uh -huh. mm. It's not correct. Why? No? Let, me, let me mention why. Because it is more common that you say, let's work in groups. This is the main word that you will use. Si nos referimos a trabajar en equipo, la primera palabra que se utiliza y es la más común es group. Okay. Entonces, siempre esta iría como primera opción, in a group or team. I hate working with a group or team. The next one, you have, I can't stand, I can't stand sitting. And sitting, it's going to change with double T because it has consonant, vowel, consonant. Porque tenemos consonante, vocal, consonante, se dobla la última consonante y se agrega ING. Okay. Sitting, eating, for example, it's another one, right? <clears throat> I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. 
That was option number five. The next one, I am interested in managing my time better, right? I am interested in managing, que en este caso sería el verbo principal, managing my time better. And the next one, I don't mind talking on a cell phone, right? Talking, in this case, is the main verb, and you transform it into ing. I enjoy eating, right? Eating uh, lunch out every day. In this case, you might say, teacher, but it has three letters. But here you have vowel, vowel, consonant. Okay? Si en la anterior yo les decía que todos los verbos pequeños como sit, por ejemplo, se cambian a double T. Where is it? Sitting, here. Porque tenemos consonante, vocal consonante. Pero ¿qué pasa con it? Tenemos vocal, vocal, consonante. Entonces ahí no entra la regla. Ok. So, here you have, I enjoy eating lunch out every day. So, these were the sentences in which you had more difficulties. Yo creo que en esta fue en la que más les, les estuve colaborando porque les daba un montón de problemas. Así que si tenían alguna duda, si estaba todavía alguna cosa por corregir, ahí está el, el ejercicio corregido. Ok, so this was the first one, right? Let's go with the next one, when you have job hunting. And in this one, we are going to listen to people talking about the job that they are looking for. And here we have, what is the best job for Bill? What is the best job for Shannon? What is the best job for Ben? And those are the only three that we have, okay? So right now I am going to share my audio and let me know if you can listen to it. Listening, job hunting. Can you listen? Yes. Good, let's listen to it. Part A, listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career? Okay, for Bill, what type of job do you consider is the best for him? Flight attendant. A flight, flight, attendant. A flight attendant. Why? I love. I love. He love. He loves what? Uh, flying. Traveling, right? He loves traveling and uh, visiting other countries. What about Shannon? Let's listen about Shannon. What career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three, Ben. What kind of job? Okay, what about Shannon? What do you think is the perfect job for her? Uh huh. For Shannon, which is the best job that you consider good for her? A hospital. Uh -huh, in a hospital, but what is the best job? We have three options here. A lawyer, a bookkeeper, or a, a doctor. A doctor. And a bookkeeper is una, la, como una persona que trabaja en una biblioteca. That you take care of the books, right? And she wants to help people. So I think in a bookkeeper, she's going to help but very little. Let's listen to the last one. Job do I have in mind? Well... I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. 
and I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. What is Ben's job? Age 66. Hello. Exercise Model. 5. Model. Part B. Listen. A model, right? He wants to be a model. In this case, he wants to be a model, a flight attendant and a doctor. Good. So this was not that complicated, right? So continuing here on the last exercises, I wanted to go over the last one. Here, this is what we were studying yesterday. It was our final topic, right? How to include information using because. And you are giving a reason or you are giving, um, you are explaining why your position is that one. It says, I wouldn't want to be a nurse. And we have some options. Because I don't oh. like hospitals. Because I enjoy traveling. Because oh, I have a I terrible memory. I do not like. Why do you think you wouldn't like to be a nurse? Because I, because I don't like hospitals. Because I don't like hospitals. Imagine if you don't like hospitals, how are you going to be helping people? That would be impossible. It's like, I know, buy a pareja. <laughs> so it would be very bad. I would like to be a novelist because. Because I love, I love, I love creative writing. 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 I, I love creative writing, right? I love creating writing. The next one. Hey, hello, Mr. Alfredo. Nice to see you. Hi, teacher. Uh, hi. <laughs> we were missing you a lot. Uno de mano saturado, teacher. Va a disculparme. Así yeah. Mi I can see. I can see. Okay, pay attention. Si no ha terminado la plataforma, es momento que se ponga <coughs> la pila. Pero, pero si ya terminé, teacher. Ah, Thank okay. You. Si no, revisemos todo. Thank I you. could never be an accountant because I could never be an accountant because I'm terrible with numbers. with numbers. I'm terrible with numbers, right? I'm terrible with numbers. Very good. I will make a bad waiter. I will make a bad waiter. I have a terrible me memory. A terrible memory. Because I have a terrible memory, right? We did this exercise yesterday. And we said like, ah, ¿qué me pidió? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I could be a flight attendant. Because I really enjoy really traveling. traveling. Because I really enjoy traveling, right? And then there you have your answers ready and done. Okay, so in the meantime we're going to work in the final section right in this final section we have to complete the sentences in this one we have a and we're going to go and do it one by one julio can you help me with the first exercise okay. you want to work you want have to pay for the bus Good. Who is next, Julio? ¿Quién hace el dos? Blanquita. Blanquita, go ahead. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Being more relaxed. Relax. Relax. If you take a vacation. Okay, Blanquita, ¿quién hace el siguiente? Um, Julio. Oh, cool. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Catherine. Catherine, ahí te va de vuelta. Catherine, Catherine, go ahead. Okay. Um, eh, ahorita. Number three. If if you had married, you will have less free time. <laughs> you won't have time for anything. If you get married, right? If you get married. You will, will have, have less free, less time. free time. You will have less free time. Okay, Catherine, who is the next one? Don't say Julio, okay? Uh, Alfredo Antonio. Alfredo, Antonio. number four. Number four, Alfredo. Mr. Alfredo, Mr. Alfredo. 
que lo solicita en recepción. Espérame, teacher, es que estoy con el teléfono, espérame. Que me estaba... Ok, ok, don't worry, don't worry. Lo agarro en curva, cate. Ok. Ajá. If not, Mauricio, can you help me with that one? And, and Alfredo can do the next one. Me teacher. Wait, Mauricio is going to help us. There, there you go. And then Anayansi, go. Uh, um, Number four. Fiona carefully plans her day so she never late for appointment she likes to be. Creative. She's never late. She likes to be uh, punctual. Punctual, Punct right? Punct Punct punctual. Punct punctual. Punctual. Okay. Punctual. 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 Okay. Punctual, right? Fiona yeah. carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. Never late for appointments. She's mm -hmm. never late for appointments. She likes <laughs> yeah. to be. Punctual. Punctual. Good. Very good. Anayansi, yes. number five. Uh, Jerry treats, treats to help people and never says no when some, so, someone asks Jean for a favor. She seems like a really generous. Gener Men. Okay. Repeat with me, Ana Jansi. Jerry tries to help people. Jerry tries to help people. And never says no. And never says no. Says. Says. He never says no. When someone asks him. When someone asking for a favor like for a favor he seems like a really generous man he seems like a really generous man very good okay very good the next one mr milton can you help me with number six amy and sam get angry easily and almost never smile everyone every everyone thinks they're moody and bad temper and bad temper right amy and sam get angry easily easily and almost never smile everyone everyone thinks they are moody and bad temper right so there you go there you have your sentences right very good so this is excellent because we completed the first exercise let's go on the next one we are going to do the listening and i am going to assign different people to give me the answers okay listen to the information we are going to read every exercise and i am going to assign to assign one to each person, okay? I have four. And for these ones, I am going to ask Ana Romero, Ismael, Tito, and Heidi. Ana Romero is going to answer number one, Ismael number two, Tito number three, and Heidi number four, okay? Okay, teacher. Pay attention to the different uh, questions. The first one says, Silvia has some old letters from her grandmother, is going to sell her old typewriter, or is happy with the laptop. Number two, it says, according to Harry, if Marsha stays in her apartment, uh, she may have to move a lot of repairs to it. She may have to make, sorry. Um, a lot of repairs. She will have more time to save for a house. She won't be able to afford a big old house. Number three, Jim's dad 
He speaks both French and Spanish, likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant, thinks Jim needs to take a vacation. Vacation. Mac is going to be a counselor at a summer camp. Mac has a lot of patience to work with kids. And Mac wants to get a job at a national park. Listen to the listening and I will have these four students answering the four questions. Let's listen to all the listening. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But, Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, the first one was Ana Romero. What is the answer for number one? Um, Silvia is happy with her laptop. Good. What about number two, Ismael? Uh, teacher, I think it is uh, she'll she'll have more time to save for a house. Very good. She will have more time to save for a house. What about number three, Mr. Tito? Hola, hola. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, did that uh, like the idea of him becoming a fly attendant? Okay, very good. And what about number four, Heidi? What to get a job at National Park? He wants to get a job at a National Park, right? And there you go. Excellent job, my dear students. Very good job. Let's go with the next exercise, right? We're going to work on this one. Complete the conversations. And it says, 
Um, in this ones, I am going to ask Blanca, Ana Yancy, eh, Milton, and uh, I so Julio here. Okay. Milton, what is the first option that we have here? I am not very good at typing. Who am I? Oh, I am. Okay, Blanca? I like working with computers, so do I. So do I. The next one, we have Anna Yancy. I don't mind. Uh, working I need, I neither do I. I don't mind driving to work every day. And it says, neither do I. Mr. Julio, can you give me the first expression and I'm going to give you the answer? Oh, I am. It says, I am not very good at typing. Oh. oh, I am. I like working with computers. So do I. So do I. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. Neither do I. Good. Very good job. So let's continue with the next one. Here we have the next one that it's about the adjectives. But we're going to choose the adjectives for this one. Choose the adjectives. And for this one, I am going to ask for different volunteers. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Catherine, can you help me to read the first one? Okay. Uh, Fiona, clarify, Care carefully. Fiona carefully plans her day to he she's never late for appointments she likes to be punctual uh -huh. punctual right we did punctual. that one before we did that one before let me see Mr. Mauricio the second one yeah Jerry tires tires to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, okay, he is generous. Generous, right? He gen Jerry tries, tries, uh, tries. Maritza, yes. number three. <clears throat> uh huh. Se me pierde, Maritza. <laughs> Cada vez que le hablo se me pierde. Alfredo. Hi, teacher. Number three. Amy and Sam get hungry. Elsie and Amo almost never smile. Every, everyone seems their bad tempered. Bad tempered. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost yeah. never smile. Almost Everyone smile. thinks they are Everyone bad temper, right? They are bad temper. Very good job. So the last one that we have here, right? The last one, it says matching, matching. And in this one, I need different volunteers. If you want to help me answering, it, it would be perfect. I am going to read the sentences for you. I would like to work as an English teacher because I am too disorganized and I can't stand hospitals, because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn, because I have an excellent memory and I like meeting people, because I don't like to travel and work with people. Why do you think I would like to work as an English teacher? Because I'm very patient and enjoy helping, helping people learn. learn. Very good, because I am very patient and I enjoy helping people learn. The next one, I wouldn't want to be a fly attendant because I am too disorganized and I can't stand hospitals, because I am very patient and enjoy helping, because I have an excellent memory and enjoy meeting people, 
because I don't like to travel or work with people. Because I don't like to travel or work with people. Very good. That's why you wouldn't be a good flight attendant, right? Number three, I will make a good waiter. Because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. Very good. I have an excellent memory and I like meeting people. I could never become a doctor. Because, uh, because I do disorganizing he can stand hospital. Okay, I am too disorganized, disorganized, right? I am too disorganized. That's disorganized. the way, okay, disorganized. Very good. And then you click on submit. And that's why here you don't have a next option, okay? Por eso aquí ya no le da opción de next. ¿Por qué? Porque ya terminaron todos sus ejercicios en la plataforma. Ya ven aquí, ya no tienen opción de next aquí. Y ya no tienen opción de next aquí abajo porque ya terminaron todos los ejercicios. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué viene después de esto? Y eso es lo que vamos a hacer todos ahorita. Y así que... Yeah. Listo. Yes. Please. Eh, I can help, help me eh, with the exercise number three, letter B. Ah, ok, ok. Perfect. I have a problem. That's, that's very good. Please. If you need help with a specific uh, exercise, I am going to help you right now. Let me open it. Exercise uh, module three. You say section three? Section three, letter B. In the midterm? Yes. Okay. Exercise? Yes. Letter B. Okay. B. B. Next page. Uh, it's the next one. It's the next one. Rewriting. Okay. Number. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, oh, and five. But that's it's okay. A problem. Okay, don't worry. Here, <clears throat> close the door, please. Could you? In this one, what you have to do is okay, let's see. What do you have to do, my dear students? Could you close the door, please? Could you close the door, please? Right. Here you have could you close the door I sorry could you close the door comma please period and point could you close the door please right please take out the garbage will you for sure here you teacher, have yes teacher um, plus, um, el signo in, de interrogación interrogation yes um, number one Question mark. Point, question mark. Only question mark. mark. Yes. Because you are that's making point. the question. Yes, that's very good. Yes. Would you please, please take out the garbage? Take out, take the, garbage. out the garbage. Okay. Ahí vaya la hacienda la por mí, Hamilton. Okay. Will you please take out the garbage? And you have the question mark. Would you please take out the garbage? What about the next one? Would you mind? Would you mind not? Would not. you mind not? not? Okay, not. Not sitting. Eating. There. Ah, there, sorry. Would you mind not sitting there? And in this one? You just put a period. I think that's not, uh, or do you have to make a question mark here? Would you mind, would you mind not sitting? Porque acuérdense que las que comenzaban con don't, no les ponemos don't, sino que les ponemos not. Okay? Eso es bien importante que lo recordemos. The next and one. The verb with ing. Yeah, with ing, right? You have to change this one for the ing. Okay. The next one, please take the cat, the cat out. Here you have. Can you please, Can you please take, take the, cat the cat out? Oh. And the question, oh, sorry. And the question mark. Oh. Can you please take the cat out? And the last one, you say, could, oh. 
you repeat, repeat, repeat that, please. That, that, please. Please. Could you repeat that, please? And there you have it. And then you just click on submit, and that's it. Okay. okay so, teacher. Milton, check on this one. Could you close the door, please? And the question mark. Aquí lleva coma antes y después lleva question mark. El segundo, would you please take out the garbage? Question mark. Okay. The next one, would you mind not sitting there? Question mark. The next one, can you please take the cat out? And the question mark. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you, teacher. You're teacher. welcome. You're welcome. Alguien más que tenga algún problema específico con un ejercicio específico antes de pasar a lo, a lo que tenemos que hacer? In my section five, I can complete it. The point. Um, Four. The exercise three, maybe. Okay. Okay. Section five. Yes. This one? Four, oh. yes. Four. Just, ah, section four. Yes. Yeah, but see, because I'm going to Okay, but section. I... Section four, exercise. 5.4. Ah, 5.4. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back. I hate, I don't know. Uh -huh. Section five. Okay, exercise. I, I am going. Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. That's the idea of this day. Okay, la idea de este día es que ninguno se quede con un ejercicio que diga yo no lo pude hacer, no me salió, me sale malo, sino que este día tenemos que aprovecharlo para que eh, todos revisemos hasta el último detalle. Ok. 5.4. No. Ajá. A mí algo me costó uno de la S, del please. No sé, comentó ahí. Please, ajá. This one. Yo hago una S al final, parece, no me acuerdo cuál era. Ah, people's problems. This one. Este. Pero creo que este lo trabajamos. Yes, ¿no? yes, ajá. este teacher. Este. Ok. So. I have a problem with the eight and five and eight. I don't know. Five. Five and, and eight. Yes. Okay, number I'm five. Interested. Ah, okay. In, uh, in my. Okay, it says I am interested in in managing managing my time my time better. My but ah uh, okay. I am interested in managing my time better. Yes. And the eighth, the I'm um, joy, I'm um, joy eating I lunch. Enjoy eating lunch eating, out every day. Eating lunch out every day. Is this same? Oh my god! I enjoy. Había puesto un espacio de más. Yeah, that's a, that's a very common problem. But it's okay, like that, right? I enjoy eating lunch out every day. What era la otra que, que tienen problemas Five. en este? Five. I can't stand meeting sit alone. No, okay. No, I can't stand sitting, sitting okay. in a long meeting. In a long meeting. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> I can't stand I sitting can't in a long stand. How ah, is double T, sorry. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Adios. And the other ones are done. Done for me. Okay. Uh -huh. And the rest? Alguien más que tenga uh -huh. otro problema con un No, teacher, yo. <laughs> Mauricio. <laughs> Pero ya vio, ya vio. O sea, me imagino que las primeras partes ya las terminó. Sí, todo, solo ese me falta nada más. Ok, este. Sí, es que... 
donde se necesita escribir lo dejo de último porque como que es lo que más pide que, que sea más exacto. Sí, eh, aquí lo que tienes que tener mucho cuidado es, son los signos, los espacios, que no queden espacios. Por eso yo ahí les vivo insistiendo, porfa, fíjense bien que valen los espacios, right? La I am, y los puntos, uh -huh, I am good at solving <laughs> other people's problem. En esta decía problem, dice problems, pero okay. en la plataforma cuando lo pusieron, pusieron problem. Entonces ahí está el error. Ok, sí. Sí. Yo And, le ponía la S. ¿no? Ajá, exactly. And me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> But uh, it's like that. In this one, you have I hate working, working in a group or team. Period, right? And I think it's, a, it's this one. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. Yes. Ok. Creo que ahí, Mauricio, quedamos con las demás. Y este, I am not very good at learning foreign languages. I am not very good at learning foreign, foreign language. languages. Language. And the first one, I don't like. You have, I don't like commuting by Ay, bus. Ok. Ahí las tiene todas para que las podamos trabajar. Ok. So, si ya no hay ninguna otra en la que estemos trabados, o sea, todos los demás ahorita, mm -hmm. si me imagino, todos van al 100%. Ajá. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Hey, D, which one? one? Oh, which no. one? Which one? No, todo 100%. Teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, you have only one. Which one? Uh, section 3. Uh -huh. 3.6. Listen, exercise, carnival time. Okay. Only high problem with the question number 3. Okay, section 3. Section 3. 3.6. Okay, I am going to open it right now. 3.6. Carnival time. time. And the question three, when is it? It's on late February or early March. Sorry. It is on late. Okay. It, um, yeah, it is. It's con it apostrophe is. S. Okay, okay, okay. It's on late February. February con mayúscula. It's um, on late February or... Early March y March también con mayúscula. February, February. Or early March. Early March. And no, it's not okay. Okay, let me copy it for you on the chat. Ah, late. Late, I don't know. I don't know if it's a, it's a good apostrophe. Ok, se lo voy a enviar en el chat ahorita. Y de ahí la puede copiar. It is on late February or early March. Era el apóstrofe. Ah, ok. Thank you. I'm sorry. So, that one, done. 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 10%, okay. 10%. 100%. 100%, sorry. 100%. Ok, now, what we are going to do, my dear students, what we are going to do, my dear students, I think everybody finish. Ok, Mauricio, ya la terminamos. Ok, pero entonces ahí yo, yo, yo comprendo que Mauricio igual va a tomar este, este día y los que faltan, al menos hoy y mañana, para terminarlo. Ajá. No, solo la, esta sección me falta, las cinco y ya, ya estuvo todo. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, ahorita necesito que todos se vayan a su progreso y eh, veamos si ya tenemos la opción habilitada para donde dice, oh, great, Blanquita. Veamos si ya tenemos alguna opción que nos diga eh, solicitar certificado. No. No. No, only, only 
100% by the section. Uh -huh. But that's it. That's it. And you don't have yes. solicitar certificado? No, no, no. No, no in any of them. Any okay. Of them. Good. But I need. Yes. 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 Teacher, oh. aún aparece para generar el certificado, sí. No, eso es lo que quiero, eso es lo que quiero eh, que todos. Teacher, yes. I, es, comparto para que se vea. Okay, please. I'm going to stop sharing. Wait, 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 wait. Voy a parar mi, mi pantalla. Okay. Voy a parar esta y ustedes pueden compartir. Go ahead. <coughs> Thank you, Lanquita. Excellent. We can share, uh, we can see the 100% by section for section. That's but very that's good. But you don't have, okay. So what I need, please, I need you to go and get a picture exactly like the one Blanquita sent. Okay, necesito que todos los demás Ahorita me manden una foto al chat, igualito como lo envió Blanca en este momento, ¿ok? Así como me lo envió Blanca, donde se ve todo su progreso completo. ¿Para qué? Para que todos hagamos constar de que todo está completado, ¿ok? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, yes. I don't have your, your, your phone no, number uh, for are, the chat. Aren't you, aren't you in, the, in the WhatsApp group? No. Okay, I am going to include you right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. I am going to send you. Okay. Meanwhile, the other ones, I need you to send me the pictures. Okay. En lo que incluyo a, a Milton, al grupo de WhatsApp. Vamos. Eh, necesito que todos me envíen su foto. Okay. I am going to send you the details here. Here you have... <laughs> Al menos va a estar en el grupo de WhatsApp hoy mañana. <laughs> that's, that's good. I mean, that's good because you're going to be there chatting, interacting with all of us. That's good. Thank you very much. No, Mauricio, but send it on the... Thank you very much. I need... Okay, there you go. There you have the link on the... On 94%. This. Okay, but Mauricio, I need you to send it to the WhatsApp group. Ah, okay. Please. But I don't have my cell phone right now. Okay, I sent you there the link. I sent you the Tengo link. Que enviarlo de nuevo, eh, o ya lo había enviado hace días let, atrás. let me see, Mr. Julio. I I you have uh, you have sent it before. But you can just resend. Solo dele ahí reenviar para que quede okay. constado de que se quedó ahora en este día de la clase. Thank you very much. Así yo mañana puedo presentarlos y diga, bueno, todos mis estudiantes están al 100%, pero todavía no tenemos acceso a los certificados. Okay, thank you, Mr. Julio. Mr. Milton, the link is on the chat. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I have received many of your Okay, I have Alfredo, I have, okay, I have many, many, many here. Let me see, uh, we have Blanky, Heidi, uh, Catherine, right? Uh, Ana Veronica, Julio, Alfredo, Diomesis, Jancy, very good. Jancy Rivas, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the rest to come. And for sure, we are going to be done with this part of the progress. Good, and some recommendations for the next modules. Some recommendations for the next modules. You need to work on the platform in advance, okay? Traten de ir avanzando tanto como puedan en la plataforma para que vayan solventando las dudas y para que puedan ir avanzando eh, un poquito más adelante de las clases. Así, cuando vayan viendo las clases, pueden ir corroborando y pueden ir corrigiendo si hay algún problema. ¿Ok? 
entonces para los próximos módulos y que les quede ahí el detalle. I have Ismael ready. I have 12 people in the class and I have, let me see how many pictures. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing three people. Three people. Okay, so, but that's the idea of, of uh, the progress. I don't know how did you feel. I know it's kind of frustrating at the beginning when um, when you are working on on some exercises and you have difficulties at the moment of typing, when you have problems with a period and everything. But now you know that you have the group in WhatsApp, always in the information that you get in the group, uh, you have, Okay, very good. Just Mauricio, yeah, number five, right, that you're missing. Always, right, remember, when you get the information about the curse, you get the link for WhatsApp, you get the link for YouTube, you get the link for the classes and everything. So try to use all these sources for you to help each other, okay? Si de repente se traba en un ejercicio, envíenlo ahí, para que entre todos ustedes se puedan ayudar si alguien ya lo hizo, si alguien ya pasó esa sección, en los próximos módulos se pueden ir apoyando ustedes ahí uno a otro. Just to finish today, we are going to go over a little reading, right? We are going to go over a little reading about what is the best job for you. For tomorrow, remember, for tomorrow, I am going Teacher, to, yes. I have a question. Question me. Yes. Um, y, y usted, teacher, nos mandó la presentación porque vi que no, no sé si yo no la, la vi. La presentación con la que nos impartía la. Oh, no, I didn't. Y lo vamos a mandar por, por el grupo. Ok. O no, no, no. I, it's because I, I, I cannot actually share it, but what I can do is to send you all the links of all the classes. Ok. Because all the classes are recorded. And in fact, I can do it right now. We can, uh, I can share it here, okay? And here, let me see, let me see. In this link, in this link that I am going to send you in the chat, you can find all your classes in order of every single day that uh, I presented them, okay? The second one, it's, a, it's the link for all the classes. There you have all your classes since day one, up to day uh, 14, the 15 that we have today. Yes, Ana Yancy? Uh, teacher, uh, usted mencionó de que mañana íbamos a hacer como una, no sé. Yeah, a presentation. We have a presentation tomorrow. Tenemos un examen oral mañana. Vamos a hacer una presentación oral. Ok. Pero, ¿De qué vas? Uh, ajá, ya ven, ya ven. Ya vi que no ven las clases grabadas cuando no, cuando no asiste. <laughs> Okay, the presentation for tomorrow, it's about your experience. It's about your experience in, in the module, your experience in the module. And what are you going to do? You are going to talk about what did you like the most? What did you like the most? What did you learn? What did you learn? Uh, what was the most uh, difficult thing about it about the the module that it's the the, the period of time what was the most difficult thing uh, what do you need to improve what do you need to improve and for sure what are your expectations What are your expectations for the next uh, module? Okay. What are your expectations for the next module? In tomorrow's presentations, you have to include what did we learn? What did you like the most? What was the most difficult about the module? What do you need to improve? And what are your expectations for the next one? It is not really necessary that you make a presentation. But if you want to do it, it's great. 
It's up to you. If you want to make a presentation, if you want to create a PowerPoint, if you want to make a cartel, if you want to do anything, that's okay. Maqueta no, porque no la vamos a poder traer. <laughs> so if you want to do anything to present, that's good. How much time do you have? Two minutes, okay? Two or three minutes, the most, okay? Two or three minutes, the most. That will be for tomorrow, okay? Tres minutos máximo. Casi, ese es como el rango de tiempo. Al final de cada presentación, solo eh, yo voy a tomar notas mientras ustedes presentan. Y al final de todas las presentaciones, vamos a hacer una review en general de problemas de pronunciación y palabras que tenemos que mejorar. Ok, so that it's going to be tomorrow. Ok, be ready for that one. That is your final, eh, the, your final presentation. And you're going to finish your module with me, okay? So I am going to and see the you next model. Can you? Yeah, I will. I, I, am, I am crossing fingers. Please. I am. I am crossing fingers for that. <laughs> yes. So, my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow. Get ready for your presentations and have a beautiful night. Thank you very much. Good night. 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 Good night.